I'm gonna be doing a little bit more. Thanks. Hey, welcome to Lance and Plains Binding of Isaac. We are going to do some greed mode because we need to. I'm gonna do a little bit of greed with Kane here. Let's see what we get. Uh, we're going to go here. What we get? We got a three dollar bill because it's rainbow tears. So uh, for a while, it gives different shots. See for this room right now, it's giving us twenty twenty, which is super nice. Old bandage. Um, that's not bad. It will. What does old bandage do? It gives us an empty heart container, and I think it increases sometimes when you pick up health. It'll count as like double for what it is, which could be useful. Uh, and that's all we can really afford to do. I mean, I could go to the curse room, but more often than not, it's not going to be good. HP is at such a premium on the greed mode runs that you kind of want to hold on to it. So the last greed mode run I did was actually one of those three runs that I lost to a uh, recording mistake. But um, I also did a greed mode run with Samson and forgot to record or forgot to uh, save money at the end to donate. Uh, we definitely want to do that. So we want to make sure we don't make that mistake again. And we save some cashola so we can donate to our machine at the end. That's the entire reason we're playing greed mode, really. I won't say it's the entire reason we're playing greed mode because it's fun. But uh, it's going to drive us towards unlocks and eventually unlocking a new character, but that's a ways off, so we're not gonna sweat too much about it at the moment, but we do wanna start working towards it. All right, and there's our last regular wave. We're gonna shoot through all the enemies here. We got a triple shot. All right, well, I didn't even pay attention, what are we getting here? We got an HP upgrade, so we can take stem cells, which might be worth it. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to Curse Room. It's three cents. And stem cells will also heal us. I thought it did. I was wrong. My bad. We don't care too much about anything else here. Um, so I think I'm just going to hit the boss button. It's a, it's a haunt version here. What is this? Ooh, watch out. Got through it. What have we got? We got some kind of damage upgrade. I don't know what it is, but we got it. Gotta watch out for this version of the haunt. Even better, we got dark matter, which is nice. Um, this version of the haunt can be tough, mostly because he shoots out spiders, and sometimes they can launch. I've, I've noticed with a lot of the enemies in this game that kind of launch spiders. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended. It kind of feels like a bug. They shoot out at you in ways that are very shitty. They're kind of like launch across the screen. It actually seems like it might be better to... This is turning into hell real quick. we got two enemies that are spawning things. I think we want to take out the Duke of Flies, actually. Kind of change our focus here. Otherwise, he can spawn enough enemies that it quickly starts getting out of control. This is really annoying. It's going to take forever here. Oh. We got hit. That's okay. Which is kind of expected at this point, I guess. We don't really want to put one of these, like, we don't want to sandwich ourselves between enemies. So they kind of make it hard. One's always stuck to one wall, the other one's constantly moving. Come on. Alright, we killed Duke of Flies. We gotta make it through. Boss Rush is all about making it until you get super powerful. Because it's going to happen sooner or later. He's gotta make it to that point. And I'd love to re-roll some of these to get something better, but I just don't think there's anything super worth it. Um, we could spend money to re-roll our machine, but I'm not sure that's something we want to do. Take out this enemies as they get convenient force to take out here. Watch out, play pretty defensively. I'll try and focus on the one monster we've been on the entire time, but uh you know, if he gets out of our range and it becomes, we put ourselves in danger to do it, it's just not worth it. And, you know, when they both jump there, I lost track of which one's which. So, uh, we're just gonna shoot whoever. Alright, there's one down. We've only got one little monster left. Not a big deal. Triple shot for the moment. And that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. We unlocked our devil deal. Let's see what it has to offer. 
I don't know. I don't love any of it, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna play you a little bit. Let's see what we get. We got Dim Bulb, which doesn't do anything when we don't have a space bar item. We got a pill. Are you a wizard? That's pretty garbage. I'm gonna play this down to the point of where we would be dead. Chariot's awesome. Chariot's great. If I can go buy health back, and if he can give us an item, I think it'll be worth it. This particular item was not. Are you a wizard? Full health. Oh, great. Range down, and something's wrong. Well, that was overall pretty garbage. Not very happy with that at all. Oh, with a cane, are you a wizard only shoots out of one eye? He's got the eye patch. That's funny. I guess he always only shoots out of one eye. We're going to drop are you a wizard in case we accidentally take it. Uh, and we're going to move on. Curse of the Blind, which really sucks. We don't know what items we, we get. So, uh... Pretty bad. Jumper cables. We get some recharges off our space for items. Um, we're gonna buy the seven cents item. Black hole. Nothing can escape. Just because um, we can, and we want to try and get some upgrades. It might be a mistake. We might want to save that for later. But uh, I mean, we're getting to the point where we need it. The black hole was a good pickup. I like black hole. It's gonna make a lot of these waves much easier. Uh, we're gonna step on the button here. We're going to throw a black hole. That's going to do a lot of work for us. Keep enemies pretty central. Um, hopefully we can use it most waves. Or we can keep it up for most of the time we're fighting. At least half the waves, it looks like. It's going to kind of depend on how tanky enemies are and how effectively we use it. Shots keep changing here because of... Uh, ooh, I don't think the ones that are attached to walls get affected by it, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to keep our dim bulb going very long. Because uh, our space for our item is going to constantly be recharging here as soon as we use it. Um, but maybe we can have it active. You know what? It'll be worth it if we can have it active for the Grieve fight. I don't think I'm going to take advantage of the 7 cent item anymore. Because... I don't know, I think I'd rather save the money instead of buying a random 7 cent item. Um, I think we can make it through the rest of this fine. The dim bulb's really good when we can have it active. We don't get to have it active very often. I'm just going to press the button again. Um, I would like to get a lot of effect over 7 cent items, it's just... I don't know if it's worth it for it to be a random item that we have no control over. Oh, oh that's double bad. We stepped on the switch on accident. Which is going to hurt our money and put a little bit. These guys aren't too bad. They're just going to spawn bombs that they can be they can hurt themselves with. Other than that, they're pretty simple. Our only real danger is if we get stuck between a couple of them. We tried to pack mass there around some corners, but we didn't let it happen. Yeah, Black Hole's pretty neat. It was uh, added with one of the booster packs. It may have been the first one, it might be the second one, I can't remember. It's one of those two, though. Uh, it's such a really neat item. I like it a lot. Just throw it out in the middle, everything gets sucked in. And you can just go ham. It does some pretty good damage. It blows up stuff in the room, so it's got a little bit of utility. I mean, I don't know. No. We're going to hope to get an Angel Deal. Maybe a mistake, but we're going to hope for it. You know what, I'm going to take a net of one hit to go in here see what we get. Okay, so it was worth it. We gained a Spirit Heart. I'll take it. We're going to move on to the next floor here. Oh god, I walked right into him. Um, really want to get some better stuff. Hopefully it's not Curse of the Blind again. It's not, thankfully. No curses. Um, tough Love's great. If we can find some more... So Tough Love, we get some pretty cool shot effects. Uh, it gives us some tooth, tooth, some teeth that shot out, shoot out every now and again. Um, if we can get some more luck upgrades, we definitely want to take advantage of those. We're definitely going to take Jesus Juice with the damage up. Lump of Coal gives us the damage up from rain, so we want that. Um, 
Jar of Flies is pretty useful. I don't know how it interacts with Dim Bulb. We're probably going to take it anyway, though. Even if it doesn't interact with Dim Bulb, I think it's going to be really helpful for us. So yeah, eat shit. I love it. Okay, get out of jail free card. That's not very useful. That's gonna um, open up all the doors. We got hit there. What dropped a key? Does old bandage give you? Okay, I obviously misunderstood what old misunderstood what old bandage did. I thought it healed you for more sometimes, but it seems like what it actually does is it can kind of pretty similar to Gimpy. And you get consumable sometimes when you get hit. I could be wrong though, and that could be from something entirely different. Um, but anyway, we're happy to have the free key. We haven't had to buy a single key yet, which is great. Oh yeah, tear it all up. How do we get to four luck? What gave us more luck? I'm not sure, but I'm happy to have it. Um, all right, we're gonna switch out to go to jar of flies which will keep Dim Bulb active, it looks like, which is fantastic. So we always have Dim Bulb on now. That's where we get the extra luck, is from uh, Dim Bulb. That makes sense. Um, we're happy to have it. Uh, it's going to let us spawn some flies for every enemy we kill. We'll give us a fly. Um, that's great. And it means that our... I, I do love Black Hole, but... The most important thing here is this will always keep them bulb active, so it's really good for a current situation. And also, it's a good item in its own right. See, look at that. You want a bunch of flies? Get a bunch of flies. Oh my god. So many hits. But you know what? We've got money out of it, so I can't complain too much. Do I want anything else in here? Not particularly. So let's blow this up. Nine volts, not good. HP, we don't really want what else do we get nothing i don't care about any of this all right step on the button one more time hopefully we actually get an angel deal so we don't have to give up hp for what we're going for um and it will hopefully give us some help in addition to an item i didn't think about it though most of the angel deals now require you have to have a key to unlock them this one didn't this one's just six cents um, which i mean i'll take it I'd prefer it to be an item that's going to be good for us, but six cents is fine, I guess. And we're going to move on here. Our item room contains E. coli, so you can touch enemies to turn them into poop. Got a damage upgrade, which is great. I know it looks like a damage downgrade, but that must have been something changed. I do not know what this item is. I've never seen this. Pop. Eyeball tears. That's gross looking. Huh. I don't know what this does. It's the first time I've seen it. Oh, this grow and get bigger and... Okay. I don't know what passed that, but interesting. And we're going to move on here. Shoot every... Ah, walked right into it. Yeah, it seems like I am getting items. I, I guess old bandage is doing it. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Anyway, it seems like Pop's pretty good. Ooh, run away. I'm not really sure, though. They kind of... Tears kind of hang around a little bit. Maybe that's good for enemies to run into them. I'm not really sure. The, uh, but, you know, we'll play with it, see what happens. We've got a lot going on. We've got a bunch of random tear effects to keep happening, too. So it might be kind of hard to figure out exactly what they're doing. Um, oh, no. Taking a lot of damage this floor. We might find it useful to buy health. I'd like to avoid doing that if I can, because it means we get less power in a run. But, uh, I think we might find it necessary. Alright, what have we got in here? HP upgrade. I don't really love any of this. So I think I'm gonna re-roll, see what we get. Um, we are gonna take Hive Mind. Hive Mind can synergize really well with our um, jar of flies. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to buy a key and open this chest. Totally paid off. 
Um, yeah, and I'm gonna keep fighting stuff. So Hive Mind's actually gonna be a great pickup with, uh, wow. With, um, sucking, oh, there we go. With our Jar of Flies, because Hive Mind increases the damage that your flies and spiders do, and we're gonna be generating a decent amount of flies, at least, so I like it. Watch out. Ooh, dodge all the things. He's not too bad. He's just a no He jumped right into me. I didn't expect him to respawn so quick. Normally it takes him a while. Great. I finished him. We got 25 cents. Do we want any experimental treatment? Let's do it. What do we get? We got a, I think a tears upgrade. We got a luck downgrade, which is unfortunate. We actually would like to buy Binky. But we're not gonna have the money for it, I don't think. What, what have we got? What have we got? Another Skullex? Two Skullexes? Oh god. We've gotten hit a lot here, and I do not like it. Um, it's not Skullex. Shouldn't be getting hit by Skullex. Not tough. Anyway, wait for him to uh, kind of go in and out. Yeah, we're definitely gonna want to. Endeavor to buy some HP after this. Well, I don't think there's any in this shop, so maybe the next floor. And we might be looking at all the upgrades we're going to have for the greed, the Ultra Greed fight. Not sure on that. Real careful here about dodging correct. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Careful, careful. Pick up the health. Oh god, we almost got hit in the process. That's okay. The old bandage has saved this run. We would be dead right now if it wasn't for old bandage. This is really frustrating. Alright, we got one. We only got this second one left. And he's gone. Devil Deal gives us two runes, a Perthro and a Yera. I would love both. I would really love both. But I think we take the Yera so we can double our money on the next floor. So what we're going to want to do on the next floor is we're going to leave as much money as possible on the floor and we're going to use Yara to double it all. So we can get double payouts. Um, in the meantime though, these two cent hearts are going to be a godsend. We could Yara everything in the shop to maybe get some bonuses, but uh think we're better off doing the original plan. And I did that because buying the heart's cheaper than buying the key. We got a dog tooth, which is going to be a damage upgrade. It's going to show us secret rooms, which we probably won't get, so I'm not too worried. And we're going to go in here because we have two cent hearts, so it's probably worth it. We got a bomb, which would be nice for some re-rolls. We're going to step in the butt. Remember, we don't want to pick up any... Oh. We don't really want to pick up anything. I'm actually going to blow up these, uh... Ooh, watch out. I'm going to blow up everything I can in this room as well. In hopes that I get some more consumables out of it. Um, to double. So I have to be real careful here. I want to kill these hearts so these, uh, floating mass aren't a problem anymore. Great. Just put one foot in front of the other. What's left? Just you? Okay, great. Looking through here, gonna fight Pride. If we can make it through this, we should be really well off. And I don't think, I think those two cent hearts on this floor really gave us a leg up. And we're gonna be okay. As you can see, when we have the right tier effects going on from Killer Bill, and we have flies from um, Jar of Flies going, then this is looking really good. And we're gonna wanna fight everything. Everything but our devil deal, because that won't drop anything for us. We're going to kill our bosses. Adversary's a pain, because we really don't have a whole lot of real estate to fight him in, but he's gone. And we are going to blow you up in hopes of a spirit heart. Nope. And we're going to Yera. What we get? Justice? justice? Great. Two justice cards. Lots of health. Pick up all the monies. Luck upgrade, which is going to be great for tough love. And 
couple bombs. So we're at 55 cents now. Um, we're gonna take blue cap, it's a tears upgrade, HP. We're gonna take coat hanger, because it's tears. I thought it was damage up. I shouldn't have taken that. Um, I think at this point, we don't really want raw liver. I mean, it's not bad, but we don't care about We're, we're gonna take chaos, because I like chaos. It's probably too late in the run to have a real effect. And that's all we can afford this floor, so that money didn't really give us a ton, unfortunately. Kind of hoping for a little better payout from it. Quick work of that, our angel deal is going to give us... Okay, fine, I'll take it. Two spirit hearts and a um, gold heart, which will give us some money. We're going to move on here. Um, so we probably don't want to spend any money here if we can help it. Because um, we want to donate as much as possible. Oh, that was sad. Yeah. There's nothing here I'm really that interested in anyway. I don't think any of it's going to be very helpful for the uh, Ultra Greed fight. So we're going to ignore it. Spawn flies. Ugh. That's fine. As we got a spirit heart and uh, we popped our golden heart for it. So that's actually great. We're going to blow him up pretty quick there. Make it through all of our and whatnot. What, what's... Uh, ooh, watch out. What's down here? There's something down here. A bunch of skulls. Come on. Our, uh, that brimstone enemy actually helped us there. We're gonna go ahead and step on the button again. Fuck bloat. Also bloat from president. Um, but yeah, bloat's a problem. But we got him dead pretty quick. Especially when he's stuck up in a corner. That's the worst thing for bloat. When he gets stuck at the top of the screen. You can't get above him, which is the best way to shoot him. So uh, fortunately, he's kind of stuck. Kind of dealing with it. And getting in the uh, small line of fire where you can shoot at him and he can't hit you. It's pretty narrow. And that, that champion bloat shoots off bombs too. So it makes it harder. All right, come on, Han. Stop being a bitch. Right, we're making it through. We're doing stuff. I should have spawned flies a while ago, probably. You can't go past 20 flies in stock, so if you're getting close, you really want to use them. And uh, when we fight Ultra Greed, we probably want to actually let him spawn the enemies as often as possible so we can kill them and get Jar of Fly benefits. Not a single item. What a bummer, but lots of money. Uh, we probably won't be able to use all this money. Um, there's a secret room somewhere. I heard the howl. Found it. We got even more money. The golden poops, great. So we're sitting at 60 cents now. Um, I'm going to blow this up once or twice just to see if we can get anything really good that I like. Probably not. I mean, none of these are bad. You know what? I'm happy. I don't need anything else. Let's go fight Ultra Greed. Um, I mean, there's definitely upgrades that would be helpful in there, and I wouldn't mind having. But I want to save as much money as possible so I can fight Ultra Greed and hopefully take him out. We gotta fight uh, this guy for. Oh, well, he gave us a nickel a quarter, so happy with that. We got more health. We're fighting Ultra Greed now. We'll try to do better than the first time we fought him, where we almost died. Even though we had a pretty strong run going on. This is going to spawn enemies. We want to keep all these alive so we can get some more flies. They're pretty easy to deal with. It's going to quickly build up our fly economy. And those will do some good damage to Ultra Greed here. He's already a quarter of the way down, it looks like. Oh, just don't put him. So you want to pick up any coins that he makes you drop. Because, uh... He will otherwise pick them up for a health upgrade. I also want to blow these up if possible, because they will heal up. As you can see, 
I think he also gets like a speed or damage upgrade when he, uh... Oh no. God damn troll bomb. He also gets a speed or damage upgrade, I think, when you pick up... Well, I mean, his damage doesn't actually increase. He gets more aggressive when, um... He picks up your coins, or when he gets the health upgrades from those. So, you really want to make sure he doesn't get any of those. We got him halfway down here. We're doing pretty well. We're taking some damage, but not much. And we've been able to heal back some of it anyway, because it's the old bandage. What do we What do we have here? We have my reflection or something that's causing these to go everywhere. We've got giant eyeballs floating around the room. Ow. kill everything possible. Ooh, watch out. Alright, so I guess we didn't count as killing a lot of those because the bombs did it. Okay, we're gonna get him. He's pretty low now. We've definitely got the fight at this point, so it's just a matter of not making it take too long. There's no real reason to throw a bunch of bombs at him because he takes... I mean, they just won't do much damage. Maybe if we had some kind of bomb synergy, but we didn't pick up any from this run. There's not much reason to. Oh, good lord. Maybe making enemies spawn isn't the best way to handle this. Alright, and we got him. We got 79 cents. Let's see how much we can actually spend. We got Evil Eye to appear. It's an interesting item. See where this caps out for us. Hopefully we can donate every bit of this money. That would be fantastic. We got the wooden nickel to appear. So that percentage thing, the lower consumables, is supposed to be the chance of it jamming every time you donate a penny to it. So it shouldn't jam at all yet, but uh, I've definitely seen it jam at like 0%. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But it looks like we'll be able to get at least most of our money donated here. We got Kane now holds the paperclip. So Kane now starts with uh, the paperclip trinket. Got a 1% chance of jamming now. Paperclip's really good. It means um, you can get in the golden chest for free. So that's a nice little bonus for Kane. Are we going to do it? Donate every penny of it? Awesome. We got to 95 cents. That was a really nice, effective uh, greed mode run there. And we're done. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Go watch the rest of our stuff on our YouTube channel. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much.